Thomas has friends all over the island of Sodor. Friends at Brendan Docks. And friends at the farmyards. All of the engines are Thomas's friends. And so are all of the children. There had been an overnight summer storm on the island. The fat controller came to Tidmouth Sheds. He looked very serious. A strong wind has blown down the telephone lines, he said. Thomas, you must take the engineers to fix the telephone lines or it will cause confusion and delay, he boomed. Yes, sir, said Thomas, and he puffed away. Thomas arrived at Brendam Docks. The telephone engineers boarded Annie and Clarabel. Then Thomas noticed something in the sky. Thomas thought it was the most beautiful thing he had ever seen. Look at all those colours, Edward, gasped Thomas. Red and blue and yellow and green. That's a rainbow, puffed Edward wisely. An old story says you'll find something magical at the end of a rainbow. Something magical, gasped Thomas. That sounds wonderful. I must find the end of the rainbow right away. And he wished away as fast as he could. Thomas had to stop at a junction. The rainbow was overhead. Percy was already waiting there. Hello, Thomas! Percy tooted cheerfully. Sorry, Thomas puffed. No time to talk. I have to find the end of the rainbow. And he chuffed quickly away. Thomas puffed up Gordon's Hill. The end of the rainbow was just over the top. But when Thomas reached the top, the end of the rainbow had moved. Bother, said Thomas. Thomas had to let some engineers off at the bridge. He could see the rainbow up ahead. Children on the bridge waved to Thomas and called hello. Thomas just chuffed away. Sorry, no time to talk, he puffed. I have to find the end of the rainbow. Thomas took the telephone engineers all across the island. Over the hills and through the valleys. All the time he was looking for the end of the rainbow. Must find the end, must find the end, he puffed. When Thomas passed Henry, Henry asked him for some help. Sorry, cried Thomas. I don't have time to stop. I'm looking for the end of the rainbow. But the end of the rainbow was always just around the corner. Finally, Thomas passed Toby. Slow down, Thomas, Toby cried. There's something ahead on your tracks. But Thomas wasn't listening. He was sure the end of the rainbow was just around the corner. Then there was trouble. Thomas clipped the telegraph pole and they all came off the tracks. Luckily, no one was hurt. Cinders and ashes, Thomas cried. Thomas was stuck. His driver couldn't phone for help. The telephone lines were still not working. Then Thomas spotted Percy far away. Help, cried Thomas. Percy, help. And he whistled as loudly as he could. Thomas watched sadly as Percy puffed away. Percy isn't talking to me because I didn't have time to talk to him, thought Thomas. I was too busy chasing the end of the rainbow. Thomas knew it was his fault. But Percy had heard Thomas's whistle. He knew Thomas was in trouble and he was hurrying to get help. Thomas is in trouble, 
Percy called out as he passed Henry. Then Henry told Bertie the bus. And Bertie told the children. The children told James. James told Harold the helicopter. And Harold the helicopter told Harvey. Harvey set off right away. Harvey found Thomas in no time at all. Soon he had them all back on the tracks. Thank you for rescuing us, Harvey, said Thomas. Harvey told Thomas how the message had been passed on. All of your friends have helped rescue you, he said. Thomas was very happy indeed. Thomas puffed along. The rainbow was still in the sky. But Thomas didn't try to find the end of the rainbow. He worked as hard as he could until all the telephones were working again. As Thomas returned to Tidmouth Sheds, he was amazed to find the end of the rainbow. It was right over Tidmouth's sheds. The old story was right, gasped Thomas. There is something magical at the end of a rainbow. My friends, friends are the most wonderful thing of all.